Hey everyone. So today we're trying a new technique. Uh, we do our Boilermaker normally with just dropping one shot glass down. But today we're going to do a double stack. So what I want to do is fill a cup with white so I know that it will cover. And then after that's covered, I'm going to drop another one in and fill it. So this ought to be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in for the first one. I can tell by the outside of the cup that I'll have enough paint. We're going to have a ton of paint in this cup. So I'm going to let a lot of that run off. Um, this is just a tester canvas because this is a trial. All right, I'm not going to spray these shot glasses because I don't want any additional cells. But I am going to fill them both exactly the same. So on this one, I'm using the Artist Loft and Grumbacher Mix, which is Artist Loft Iridescent Medium mixed with Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Equal parts. Gives a pretty iridescent um, finish. This is the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. This is the one you get in the jar. And then I'm going to add Craft Smart Midnight Blue Metallic. I'm going with all blues. And then our new paint color, Nate Stormy Weather. This is a muddled um, Payne's Gray. I'm going to add gold again. The Prussian Blue Mix. touch of gold to break up both those blues so we'll have plenty of paint to play with all right so on the first one I'm going to drop that shot glass in I want to make sure that the white is covering before I drop the second one in so here goes our double shot I want that to be inside that one. There we go. It's going to push that color out. So when we flip the cup, we'll already have color coming out instead of waiting for the shot glass to release. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that on my canvas. You can hear them both hit the canvas. Get my white out of the way. This ought to be fun. I like to try new things. I will take in that Boilermaker just one more step. Okay, so I'm going to let some out because we know we have color. From the first shot glass, getting that other shot glass stacked inside it. Okay, now I'll release. Now my fear is that those shot glasses are stuck together. <laughs> That's my fear. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm going to wipe that one off. <laughs> and I was right. <laughs> but all of our color came out of the first one, so we can go ahead and move this one around. And of course, now I'll see if I can get them apart. But there's a little bit of color in there. I don't want to lose it. Pretty shot glasses. Let's move that in. Okay. Let me wipe my hands because I'm already a mess. That's some beautiful cells. All of our bottled paints do have silicone in them. I like cells. If we don't have silicone in our paint, we tell you. But I can already see um, the Grumbacher mix right here. Alright, so let's start moving. Because we don't have a base, it will roll over, so any of my edges, um, I think I'm going to let that one go right off. will fold over and I'll lose anything that I was trying to keep so I 
But it's nice how when you stack that second cup, the colors that were in the first shot glass mixed with the white, so they muted a little bit and they're not as intense as the second shot glass. You could do this with lots of different colors, but you want to be careful that you don't use anything that's going to make a pile of mud. Okay. So I'm going to torch this, and then I'm going to let it set for 10 minutes so that you can see what happens when we shut the camera off. Okay, welcome back, and we got a ton of cells come up through here, and lots of little ones here and there. Um, I was hoping I'd get some more dark cells coming through here, but um, I think the painting itself is well balanced. Um, if you move it in different directions, you can see um, different ways that you can hang this. So I am happy with it, and I'm going to show you that beautiful cluster of cells that came up while we were waiting. Um, some of this white will continue to sink, so we will get some more color. But it's very pretty, and I'm really loving the dark blue in there. So I'm going to leave that one just the way it is, and I'm going to say this one is done. So our technique, our experiment for a double stack boiler maker, double shot, double stack. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. <laughs> um, did work. Uh, this was a 14 by 14 canvas, so you could probably go 18 by 18 um, with that size cup and still get a good effect. I did have quite a bit of runoff. Um, I will be making some, dipping some cabs in there, and I did pull some skins already from the shot glasses. But um, Check out all the links below. Join us on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time right here on our channel. Um, we paint for two hours and live chat with everybody. Um, also, check out my um, paint line. Well, if you're in the group, the Paraj Posse on Facebook, all the information for ordering my paints is in there. Um, Etsy, the link is below. Stone Coat Countertops Art, Art Coat Resin. Uh, those codes are below as well. Um, just check out all the links. We have a world of information there. The double sh um, stack, when you have the double stack, the heavy body shot glasses, oh my goodness, are available in my Amazon shop. I did put them in there. You got to have the heavy bottom to get them to sink. So, I will see you guys all on the next one. Bye now.